Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Zhengjiang campaign. We'll pick things up for episode 5 from turn 33 in the winter season of 200. So, as we hop back in, uh, we have just started our campaign against Yuan Shu uh, to honor our marriage vows with Liu Chou, who got destroyed by them, which is why we have them. So it's a good news. Um, we are on the last term of the contract, I believe. I don't think we can enter into a new one right now, which is rather sad because I want to get paid for killing him. And if we can, next turn, we'll offer it to Liu Yao because he's at war with Yuan Shu and we actually see him now. We have gained some vision to the Southern faction so we can have that flexibility. I did mention about working with Sun Ce to destroy Liu Biao, but that would open up two fronts. We want to wipe out uh, the Duchy of Zhong as fast as possible, taking as much of this land as possible to kind of contain Liu Bei uh, in his place here. And plus, Wainan makes quite a good capital uh, in the early stage, or just a good commander overall for Bandit just because the number of counties is high. Danyang's obviously great, harbor, good for trade, uh, you have a lot of industry here as well, so both are in our sights. So let's keep marching. We can actually reach this. Let's see who's there. Nobody's home. Okay. We look at our roster. Guo Si has joined us. We don't have a position for him. Let's see. We need 40 more prestige. Which is rather easy to get. So there's no prestige on this type of county, uh, which is okay. We have this discount going. Construction cost discount, uh, 10%, which doesn't increase for a while. I think it doesn't jump until the final tier. So level one's great. And then we'll pick up a military forge, although we need food. But once we get the livestock farm, our food is solved. So we're going to get the forge level two first so that we can start pumping out items. They have reach? They don't. But somehow they can move so far. Ah, oh, it's very, very low loot. That's why. I think we can still get into reinforcement range, can't we? No. We could march. I would need their help to win. I believe this is also level 4, just based on the garrison size. We can also check out the art. Uh, it's hard for us to to judge, you know, because we, we don't have the option of seeing the Han art. But I assume it's level 4, so we're going to raise it down a level. Uh, the movement's also because they have infantry. All right, we're just going to march. It's fine. Reinforcing is more important. There we go. And we'll be fighting this. All right, snowy day here. We both have guerrilla deployment. We're going to pull back to where the reinforcements are. Uh, we're still at the stage where we're building up. Once we have economy, we will have a real army. Uh, we have a lot of faction unique units that we can feature, both in Liu Chong and Liu Bu's forces. We can do like a love triangle army setup where we have Liu Chong, Zheng Jiang, and Liu Bu together in one army. Um, but first, we're gonna, you know, build up to that point by using our generals. No one else need to go. You guys all chill right here. They're over here. We have no siege weapons, so... Oh, wow, they're backed up. All, they usually hide behind this hill. They're gonna... Hmm, okay. We have stock on her. Sneak up on them. Get a good opening shot.
Oh, they spot her. What kind of eyesight do they have? 2020? Alright, she's gone again. See, they, they pick her up from so far away, in my opinion. They should stay stock much longer. Anyways. I'll go for it. They're here just for experience. Actually, if we garrison wipe by making a lot of them route, then they will pick up some experience evenly from the routed troops. So it's probably better that way, actually. Oh, it's so dense. Let me get in on this. I don't want to actually charge him. I just want to stop their charge. Kite, kite, kite. Actually, no. You you go pick up. Each of you pick up this one. You pick up that one. Your cooldown is the fastest. Actually, no. You have something else better to do. You guys don't. Try to knock us off our horse. Alright, this one's over. Alright, we'll share the rest of the kills with the units. Alrighty. So, I thought about it. I'm just gonna pick up Occupy, or loot and Occupy. Loot and Occupy. We're not gonna sack. We're not gonna give up. We're gonna give up some of the infamy and income because I don't have an army with enough movement to grab it the same turn. I'd rather just take this right now. We have Capture Scholars. One of the asset seats from the enemy appears to be a scholar. They can read, write, and have unenviable ability to relentlessly assault your guards' ears with long, tedious O's to leaves. They are brought shortly before meeting with un with an unfortunate accent, no doubt. So we can release them for some bonus experience. We can ransom them for a little bit of gold. We can recruit them as a character. That's actually quite interesting. Or we can make them right for us and demoralize the enemy. We're going to recruit them. I assume scholars would be strategists, maybe a special character. Oh, a bandit, a bandit strategist. So I guess everyone we get from events would be bandits. That's okay. 
uh, clumsy, not the greatest, but not the worst. We need these characters to do assignments for us, and because they are already a bandit, we don't have to find a wife for them, which is our, you know, number one expense, looking for wife and husbands. And this will be faster now, one turn faster, because we have one piece of the four. It can be reduced all the way down to four turns. We can wait for that, because we are going to capture most of this. Satisfaction for all the generals, commerce, and industry boost. I think we'll take this. The Thieves of Sap Heat. Gonna pop the army out. I want that too. Sun Tzu's not at war with them, I don't think so. They're only at war with like these factions here. So we can safely grab all of their territory without any issues. Hmm. Logically speaking though... We should take this next, given the distance. This would be a waste of a turn. Grab this, take us a siege, and then we go grab that. And then we grab this. Or technically we grab this, into this, into this, it'll be more direct. And maybe we do this. And we want to share the spoils, pop them in here. It's level 3, wonderful. So it was level 4, and then we reduced it to a level 3. That means if we convert, it will be ready to go. These will be hitting full builds. No need for... Oh, this one actually has one more build behind it. So maybe we rush this. Oh, two more builds behind it. Okay. This, since we are rich... Uh, we're not that rich. We should save more money. We're not going to rush that, because there's... If we can finish this faster, we get items faster. Alright, let's do that. Alright, we're going to wait for the contract to finish. Above 25. Really don't like her. She's giving us a lot of problem because of this. And we got a new strategist. So maybe there's a divorce coming up. And we can re-roll for another female character, which is not bad. Who are you married to? Ben Tan? Okay. Off she goes. Oh, gotta divorce her first. Oh, we should just try to get her killed. That's what we should do. That's our strategy. The cheaper, you know, we don't actually divorce in this faction. We we, we get them murdered. I'm going to send her out in this army. Maybe even build her a siege weapon. Then get her killed. Pass the siege weapon to a non-strategist general. Hmm. I like that plan. That way we don't have to waste a turn here. Oh, I like that plan a lot, actually. All right. Let's do that. We're going to only build one siege weapon. We're going to go easy on the number of siege weapons we're going to use in this campaign. We have plenty of sieging power with those sentinels. So, let's see. He's going to prepare to die for us. She's going to be... She's going to be fine. Might cause some faction-wide debuff, though. Yeah, if we're not firing her... We're not firing her. We're gonna do this. We don't have enough retinues on the field. And this way we can reduce character salary and we actually increase income. Losing morale is fine. 33, I actually get more money this way. Yeah, let's pump it up this way. We have a lot of characters now. And she's above 25. Okay. Alright, we're good. Let's continue. Alright, so... I might actually go for this, now that I know I can get a strategist with Siege Weapon. So the idea would be to move as close as possible first, grab the Siege Weapon, which will slow the army down, and hopefully still have enough movement to grab that. They have to reinforce this. We're going to have to march again. Which is terrible, but we've got to do what we got to do. Oh, 
绝不留情。千层波浪，充实巨岩。We're gonna do just one siege weapon. Who do we want to pass it to? Who do we want to summon onto the field? See, I think that we can give it to one of them because they're always. Oh no, actually, do we want them to be more flexible so we can recall them often, put them in places where we need them? Because if that's the case, that's the case. Like. We can get flaming shot from one of these, so it doesn't have to be on a strategist. I know there's one that gets flaming shot. Just don't remember which one. This one. Commander who scales walls. So this is not an issue. Like I can, I can give it to anyone, but preferably somewhat decent amount of cunning. I can see her picking this up, but she's currently busy. She's doing an assignment, so she's not ready for it. We'll worry about it later. All right. Like I don't have to pass it to anyone. Well, I have to pass it to someone, but it doesn't have doesn't have to be the final person right now. Continue siege real quick. We're gonna move our reinforcements up. This is a hard fight. Level six. Oh wait, wait, wait. Are they in range? They are in range. Okay. Um, yeah, because they have the military infrastructure building as well. So extra retinue, bastion, you know, artillery's on the wall. Yeah, not gonna be too easy. This one's gonna be interesting. Let's see how we can do this. Alrighty, it's foggy. That's good. It's not a bad thing. Um, I don't intend to using. I don't intend to use a siege weapon at all. Okay, we're gonna hide our units. They're gonna be in the center plaza. Bastions over here, over here. They placed it in random spots because they don't see us. We have a general with stock, so we're gonna use that and capture like all the towers in this area. There we go. That's our girl. She's fatigued, you know, because we marched that army, so she's gonna be a little slow. Let's see what we can do here. They put a unit here. Capture this as well. We have to start this way. If we go down, we get spotted. So we're gonna stay up first and grab all the towers. Maybe grab this one and that one. 
There's some civilians down here, but if we just stand right here, maybe we can stay hidden. Hmm. We need those as well. Because this can hit the inside. Steal this. As those towers are taken, we can move our generals over. Grab this one. All their troops are in there right now, or most of them. There's not a lot of interior towers, that's good. We're gonna move them across too, doesn't matter if they show up on the map. I'm okay if they move some of their troops out. Oh, here they come. Alright, as long as we grab this one, then the coast is pretty clear. That doesn't fire inside, well actually this section, but we don't have to go to that section. Okay, they're sending some troops. Which one's very important for us in this battle. Alright, now we capture this. Because the Ultron doesn't have a limit on this. We don't have enough poison volleys to kill off all the enemies inside. I want to go outside. I want to get my, um... Hmm, she's still staying hidden. Okay, if she can stay hidden in the crowd, then we'll grab that. No, she's... Uh, she's going in and out of hidden. It might not work. Like, she bumps into people, they're gonna spot her if they fight her. If we evade everyone, maybe. Truk, 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 truk. Is that tower gonna hit us? All right, let me steal this one too. Look at him murdering people. Okay, now we're actually gonna just gonna walk outside. No one can see us. And I want my horse back. Inside. Part of part one of the plan has worked. Nobody duels. He doesn't want to anyways, okay. If he comes over...
Does he want to get any closer than that? He doesn't want to move. We can crossbow him. Death. He's on her horse. Perfect. Oh, we're out of ammo. We're gonna go whack him. It also demoralizes on that ability, so now we clean them up. We'll try not to use our poison volley unless we have a lot of spear enemies. We gotta make sure they completely route here. They will not shoot inside. That one will, but we won't chase that far. There we go. Here. I need you to come back here. <laughs> he ran away. Okay, they completely routed. More cavalry coming. We'll guard this little plaza for a little bit. Move our troops in. He's running back. There's so many enemies. It's gonna be a problem. They can be fresh. They can't. That's threat number one right now. They see where Dotron's going and they stop moving. Now we clean them out first. Archers are free. Lady Feng? Yanshu's wife. He's very injured. them to leave the tower range and come like right here then we can poison volley them
maybe we have a shot here. Or maybe the wall block it. Oh no, we go through walls. Oh no, the wall block. Ah, uh, the wall block two, but two got through, unfortunately for him. That looks like a good cluster. We're gonna get through these first. Hmm, didn't get as many units as I would like. Cavalry incoming. Try to break their charge. Oh. Did we fire it? Uh, we might have fired. We didn't hit our own general, did we? No. Okay, hit them. Only one shot. I canceled it. I didn't want friendly fire. Alright, they routed. There's still some melee cavalry coming. Uh, that's blocking us. That's fine. I don't want them to be in the action that just yet. He's invisible. Uh, wait for those units to disappear. She died. Hack it open. We only have two volleys each on these. And our main enemies, probably just these swords. Not really our main. I guess the spear is the only thing we have to kill. A couple of spears here. Because these we can just charge with cavalry. They can join the fun soon. We'll save these two for him. Wipe him out with this. You guys hack it open. Yeah, the damaging barricade thing is kind of broken. Can we do it? Nope, we can't do it. Okay, fine. Then don't do it. One last volley. It's gonna be on this guy. It's our only threat here. We'll wipe them out. I guess we can use one volley trying to touch that cavalry. 
Maybe in this corner, trying to get as many as units from here as possible. Wait. Where's the others? There we go. Two, three, four. Yeah, don't move them. Then you cancel. Ooh, we got a free one, I think. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. Line it up, line it up, line it up, line it up, line it up. She still needs to die. It's okay, we got towers for that. Ooh, lining up so easy here. Strategist, go. You guys come in from here. Charge! He doesn't have unbreakable, so she lose too much health. She, okay, actually, we're gonna charge her in really, really deep. That way, even if she start routing, she the tower will finish her off when she's trying to escape. Charge! That's our divorce, basically. Oh no, she didn't make it. Ah, whatever. That's our last threat right there. Oh, we should have been on ground level. Then it would have pierced through them. Oh, she's bouncing back? No, she's just trying to find a way to leave. We got one volley left, we're gonna save it for that guy right there. Oh! She's gonna survive this, I think, because she's gonna route the right direction. Okay, we're melee cavalry. Fire back. We got slow firing rate though. We use actual use crossbow. Now we're gonna get on ground level, try our new plan, see if we can pierce through a couple units trying to kill this cavalry. And then we're gonna send all the generals in. Actually, if he gets off his horse, he can even do even more. Yeah, still too tall. Charge! Return fire. Get some kills, don't let them run. There we go. Get closer. Boys and girls, we're going for it. Charge! Oh, the morale cratered. Okay, we don't even have to go through the four towers. Alrighty. 
So we did it. She didn't die. Uh, we'll try to get her killed in a future battle. Infamy. Ah, uh, Tian Gong. Mm. I mean, historically slightly relevant as a Wu general. Not too impressed. Skill wise. Not too impressed. I don't think we'll be taking him in. Labor is also. Yeah, it's not that good. Execute. We're gonna loot and occupy. We don't need a large city, we just need a city. So getting a couple seven level reductions is gonna be worth it for us. I don't know about the other buildings here. Like with those. I don't think those lose a level though. It's only a settlement level, so it's fine. And we won't lose any building slots. So loot and occupy. Hanshiwei在旦夕,各路诸侯,或是临危受命,或是趁此乱世争权夺利,群雄四起,刀兵相见。如今海内混乱,只有一条真理,能立足乱世。天下的命运将由战争来决断。And just like that, we ranked up to Raider, which is similar to... Um, I guess with the with the cutscene similar to Duke. No, this is Duke. This is second Marquis. But I don't know why we get an animation like that. We don't get right hand, which will be a great faction wide bonus. But we do get Relentless Enforcer, which gets rid of all desire for higher office. It's absolutely nuts. So, I don't need a Chief Smuggler. We're going to shift him over. Guosu can pop up here. Character salary discount, relationship with the Han. He also doesn't really, uh, he's having satisfaction issues. But he shouldn't have it anymore once Lu Bu's here, you know. But still, we want this bonus. We have two underling positions now. We probably have more trade options as well. And the one we gave up is just the loot and uh, farm. It's just the food. It's not good. It's not needed. We need an administrator here. Underling here. It can be anyone really at this point. Well, it would be perfect here actually. So we would use the dismissal trick to move him over from don't because he's more industry and don't industry commerce. So this is industry peasantry. So he's better off dismiss him here and then reassign him here. And then we can slap, you know, someone with wait, why is he still here? That's a display error. So even him, he would have... He's not bandit, is he? He's bandit. He's bandit. Okay. But he wouldn't work. Uh, we need a Han general. Right, so she should switch, actually. Because Peng Chung is completely pointless. Peng Chung is... It doesn't have income. So she's only reducing some of the cost of the buildings right now. Let's slap a build in and then do this again here. We can't use. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Did you guys see this? Because we own one of the county pieces, we can see Cao Cao's characters. That is the first time I've ever seen that happen. I mean, it doesn't. Can we. We can assign administrators for him? Wait, that is nuts. He's using Lady Ban as administrator. What an idiot. So who needs spies when you can use raise we can use a county to spot out who it is. So we can't. So like if I have the county selected, I can't click this. But if I had this clicked from a different 
one. I can't click this. Wait, this can be really exploited. I can't point someone and then dismiss them. Then they feel like they got fired. And then they leave. Except for all the good ones have really high satisfaction right now. Hold on, hold on. This theory might work. We can grab Jashu. He can be a good administrator. He's going to come back to us, right? Because it's a 0.1. They won't leave by themselves, but like when you get them as a spy, they just leave. Which, which is fine. This increases our trade influence, so even if we don't have trade with him, we can gain a little bit. Uh, let, let, me, let me test this theory out. This is an interesting exploit. I've never seen this happen. So I move into his commandery, right? Because that's the only county I own. And say I want to steal... Her. I confirm. It actually worked. It actually worked. Oh, they kicked someone else. But I can still assign someone to Chen. Oh my god, I can kick. Why is Lord Jun being displayed here? That's not his. So there's some display error going on. It's showing ours because he's he's our only underling. So I guess it's being shown on every single command we play out. Okay, this is most interesting. Now I'm gonna throw her in. Does that kick out other people? That's what I'm wondering. Or maybe it's just not happening because there's already someone there. Because I don't think it's registering. Right? Is she still here? Very weird. Very weird. Anyways. That, that, that allows us to pick an administrator for them. But we can't dismiss the same one. Which would be amazing. But it's a good way to see what characters they have on the bench. And we can see their satisfaction. We can see how much the AI is cheating with salary. You see how much cheaper these characters are for the AI compared to us. It should be base 150. Legendary difficulty, they're paying 35 a character. And you can see what skills they have on the skill tree. So we know like Dan Wei has trust because he has 20% to peasantry and so forth. And if we can uh, you know, work our way back for some of the ones. Uh, you can kind of see where the skill tree is at. It's not very useful, but seeing the satisfaction is very useful. Hmm. Okay, we'll try to use this somehow in the future. Wait, did we win 10 heroic victories? Or decisive or heroic? I mean, a lot of um, really cheap wins there. She leveled up. Hmm. Trying to be useful for us. Desire's higher court position. Wait, didn't we get rid of Desire for higher office? It should fix itself next turn. But we might just keep her now. Yeah, what do you know? Lucky you. Full stack here. With siege weapons. Scary. So, pop behind? No, actually we don't want to do that. Because she has the low loot satisfaction issue. Hmm. Actually, no. We want the replenishment. If the desire for higher office goes away, it shouldn't be an issue at all. We would just take some income here. Chen might actually turn out to be a pretty decent income commander. Food, food and income. 
mainly food. What did they build here? A building that we can't build. We can't upgrade it. And level 3 is not good enough to keep. Another building that we can't build, but level 2... Ah, we'll pass. There's no money to be made from that. Uh, level 3 industry. This one we keep. This one's 300 industry, which is really good for Bandit. So this one we just fix. This we convert. This we don't need. We'll pay it. Because we're going to get attacked. Commerce. This has our highest commerce right now. Why not actually has most of our food? Because he has a livestock farm. We can get Gosa a few levels. Actually, no. He can learn Mending if he levels up. How Meng? Ying An Shu. Liu Bei. The thing is, I can't steal. It's very hard to steal his characters. I almost don't want to do it. Keeping that empty, that's because of cooldown issues. Alright, I want her over here in Huainan. Wait, no, I want her in Dong. But she's on cooldown, because we did the flip. Who's going to be in here? Really can be anyone. Oh, she had 23%. I thought she had less. That was a bad cancel. Pay slightly more. Alright, that's fine. And then we're gonna slap uh, Luigi as the administrator and don't, and then we will have three underlings following our rule. Guangling is the capital. Well, he doesn't have the rest. Guangling has the rest. Okay, we'll worry about this first, uh, but let's end turn. Okay, they're here. They don't have night battle despite having two strategists. Oh, Lu Su. Yan Xiao, okay. And uh, the real Yuan Yao. Who might just die to our fake one. We're getting sieged. Um, they're fighting an offensive siege. They're challenging us with walls. So this will be quite easy for us to win, I think. Let's go. Alright, we just fought here, so familiar place. Um, they are spread out thin, and they're only attacking from one side. Fools. Um, we still have these. We can place them wherever we want, because we haven't technically destroyed them yet. But we'll have some extra help. Maybe here. Yeah, we can hit more things this way. And we get the extra garrison from the military infrastructure as well. Huh, a lot of extra help. So, cavalry's light. I think their cavalry would just dismount, try to climb the walls. Let me gather up everything we have. Anyone else? Some generals guarding the inside plaza. So, the plaza needs to be defended. I think that's one way we can foolishly lose this if someone just goes in and takes the plaza. We have three barricades. We're going to block. We're going to block. Hmm, do we want to force them this way? Yes, yes, we do. Block. And then because we block these, they could go through this way. No one of theirs will be on horse once they're inside, though. They have no way to breach the gate. All the cavalry will dismount, so I don't think I need any of these. Alright, who's going where? I 
can put them on the wall, have them fight to the death. There's only an uh, archer militia here. We can outshoot them, basically, is what I'm saying. If I spread them thin, they can cover all of this. They will guard this. That's their job. She's going to go out. Hmm. We can't vanguard into their zone, but we can vanguard over outside. Find some opportunities. He can pop out after her. Which one's slightly injured, but still very strong. We can step on top of this, use this barricade, and shoot at people. Everyone else, everyone else, what do you guys useful for? Archers, useless, because they don't have the traps. So, we're gonna just spread them thin here. I wanna protect the siege weapon a little bit. They don't have traps, but they do. Man, we're gonna get shot. We'll be here to kill the cavalry once they dismount. What about these guys? They're all hidden. We can loop around and do a trap, maybe. Okay, we're good. Let's go. Do your damage. Suicide. Oh. Oh. Hmm. It'll buy us some time. We have a job too. We're gonna let them start climbing first. Fire arrows? They don't have night battle, but they have fire arrow? They decline night battle? Are they insane? They're gonna get shot by more towers? That's their choice? And then dismount and try to enter from over here? Sure. Can you kill me on the process? I, I wanna die. Oh no, no. Eliminate that first. Eliminate that first. We're not gonna lose this. There's no way. Here, you, you can just come back. You guys have nothing else better to do. Go do that. You two go back and help Liu Chong. 
Ooh, they're gonna capture this gate. Okay, we're gonna go all the way over there. They're inside. It's okay. We'll stall them here with her. We're not bad in melee. And they used up all their ammo too. Rapid Tiger versus Chen Ruo Guards. I like Chen Ruo Guards' chances. Uh oh. Oh, he gets back up! Uh, they're wasting a lot of men on a few men over here. Alright, they're both eliminated. Come back in. Come back in. Sixty-eight of us versus sixty-three of them. Sixty-two of them. Charge! How's the odds now? Sixty-five versus sixty-one. Uh, I don't think we're winning, but we're not losing, so we'll call it even. Get on them. Fifty-seven versus fifty-nine. Yeah, they're winning. It's okay. Even if we all die here, it's a worthy fight here. There's a couple that just stuck here. Oh, a couple of routing enemy units. Archer militia. Whoa, what are we getting killed by? Oh, our own friendly fire from our... Jesus. Friendly fire. Alright, rapid tiger. Guys, please kill us. Mm, we don't need that yet. She's on the ground. She lost her horse fighting the Z militia. It's okay. He's going to build up some speed and charge right back. There we go. I'm not. How are we doing here? 50 left versus 55. But we have it in a nice choke. We can probably stall this out a little bit. I mean, I like our... I mean, look at... We have good shield, good armor, good poke. We just have swords. We're poking them back. Maybe we can win this. Who knows? Who's routing? Oh, they're getting shot by one of the enemy generals. Forty-eight, fifty-four. Maybe we can offer them some help. Well, Jun, you have a horse. Come, come, come. Dismount. Go assist. Yeah, with the number of poison volleys we have left. And the set of towers that we have here. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Wow, crossbow, the arch is way too high. Do not leave. Charge. 
Helps on the way, boys. Helps on the way. Hang in here, hang in here. Oh, we can make her unbreakable to make sure she dies. Here. More moral support. And maybe we can friendly fire onto her. Oh, that also applies to the poison friendly fire. Actually, we can cancel that one. Hey, help is here. We did it. The bandit queen survived. Chairman Royal Guard survived. Hidden axes are here. And they have routed. And the morale has. Yes! She died! And we win. Perfect. Perfect fight. Already. Only three infamy. Oh, got a stone pig. Oh, I want him released for now. Hmm. I'm tempted to just murder them. Oh, but he's oath thrown with Lu so if I want Lu Su. But I don't think I'm going to get Lu Su. I'm just going to let him live and let him go to some other faction. We still got the fondness already, so this doesn't really matter. I don't need money. Alright, we got to replace a retinue. We can send out Lipo's daughter, which might be perfect because she has good replenishment. So she's always going to be an army. She has decent cunning. It's not high, but it's not super low. And I don't like her retinue, so she'll be coming out for free. This will do it. Dashu is coming back. She died. Uh, good, which means we can find new wives and such. Um, their armies on March, so we'll be picking this up next time. We'll be destroying uh, their army here. Dashu is coming back. Ah, so he's been out west. He's expanded over here. Interesting. So we'll swing by, grab this. And then grab this, crush him. I don't know how he will approach this, since he still has this. He might just come over here to fight me here. Um, but we need to wipe them out over here first before we can come down here. There shouldn't be any competition, because there's no other major factions fighting them right now. So no one's going to be stealing land from us until it has a trade deal with them, actually. So there's not going to be any issues there as well. But that's what we're going to do. We're going to finish up uh, the Duchy of Drunk and uh, take all this land around us and continue to build up our economy. It's actually good enough right now where we can probably afford a real army. Um, so maybe we'll look towards getting that ready as well, because I think we had enough fun with our, um, you know, poison of all these and a show of force. We'll continue to use those, of course, but um, we'll scale those back a bit and actually feature some real armies. So hopefully you guys enjoy this and see you all next time. Bye.